Seconds after the collision, Simon Capel pulled Elena Shapiro from her car to begin CPR. The off-duty paramedic quickly became frustrated when the driver of the second car also tried to give Shapiro medical attention. That second driver was Dr. Raymond Cook. Capel did not know that Cook was a doctor, but he does recall that Cook smelled very strongly of alcohol. I guess to put this in context, um, you know, if, if, if you see someone who's maybe had a couple of glasses of wine and you, you get close to them, if you get real close, you can maybe tell they've been drinking, maybe not. This, this was a very strong odor of alcohol. Although Cook denied that he had been drinking, police determined that he had a blood alcohol content of .19 when he hit Shapiro's car, going nearly twice the legal speed limit in September 2009. After golfing and drinking at a Raleigh Country Club, Cook was cut off from alcohol at a local bar when the waitresses noticed he was drunk. On the stand today, Capel recalled the emotional scene. But with this one being off duty, being caught completely, you know, um, unawares by the whole thing, and then that total sense of helplessness while you're sitting there trying to do what you can, but knowing you don't have what you need. After today's testimony, the prosecution will bring in witnesses as the case continues through next week. In Raleigh, Melina Cahall, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.